Coach Riley, cross country headed to conference championships. Let's talk first about the women. How do you think the women are doing in preparation for this 6K race down in California? Uh, they've looked pretty good this last week. They've <clears throat> We've kind of decreased the volume a little bit and putting a little more speed in their workouts. And um, and yeah, they're we're kind of a little more banged up than I would hope that we would be at this time of the year. But, but Ruby's looking a lot better and Caroline's ready to go, so. Your freshmen, do you think that the stars are out of their eyes, or do you think since this is the conference championship, they're going to be kind of uh, wide-eyed and bushy-tailed for this conference meet? Yes, yeah, they're going to be a, yeah, that could, yeah, put it lightly. There'll be a bunch of squirrels out there, so, <laughs> yeah, but they're excited. I think we've, we've talked... I think Notre Dame was a good um, step as far as to, to see that level of competition and then we're just going to ramp it up here at, at Pac-12s. So. Is this a good distance for your women's team, the 6K? Yeah, it's. I think with our freshmen, they prefer five, and I think Courtney Zalad always, the, shor the shorter the better for her. So, But Caroline and Ruby, they, they excel at that, at that distance. So. Having um, having Courtney and Caroline and Ruby have that experience, are they good kind of solidifiers to keep the freshmen on task for this championship? Yeah, and I've kind of put that role on them, and and they, I mean, they had it when they were freshmen, and they've you know experienced that when they're sophomores, so they're um, yeah passing the torch a little bit. Yeah. Let's talk about the Cougar men. Are they, are they looking goal-wise just at doing well at the Pac-12, or are they thinking that there's pressure to do well so that they can advance further? They, of course, everybody in the conference goes to the, um, to the regional meet, mm -hmm. but are they looking to return to the NCAA and thinking they need to do well at this conference championship? Um, we've, we'd like to do well, obviously, but our, our kind of the main focus of this season is is to make it back to the NCAAs, and for that to happen, we have to have a, a really good regional meet. So, um, the thing about the Pac-12, it's so deep and so good. We could get, we could run absolutely perfect and get fifth or sixth. We ran well that, there last year, and and then run like what we did last year. We were sixth in the Pac-12s, but then fourth in our region, and that's what got us to NCAAs. Is getting that fourth place in the region and that's what our goal is for this year. Who are your leaders right now for the men's team? Uh, Andrew Kimple and um, Drew Jordan have been kind of the taking the brunt of the leadership roles and but they're as far as Todd Wakefield's really coming along as well so um, yeah I think it was it was kind of hard to pick um, if I had to pick one leader on the team so that's always always a good thing. And this is an experienced team. Yeah. Yep. We're we have yeah no freshman on the team. I was gonna say the the upperclassmen, Andrew Kimples are only seniors. So, but a handful of juniors and sophomores, and they've been there before. And a lot of them were on that um, NCAA qualifying team last year. So, we're looking to to run well this weekend and then bring it for regionals. Does it help or hurt that there are, both on the men's and women's side, so many nationally ranked teams in the Pac-12 conference? No, it helps, yeah. If um, to experience that level of, of competition is, it's always a good thing. And I think um, you'll talk to any coach in the Pac-12 and they'll agree. And it's, it's hard to go in these kind of meets and not run or not to taper as much as you would want to, but you know, the the regional is, is what we're really going for here, so. All right, well, thank you very much, and good luck to the Cougar cross-country teams. Thanks, and go Cougs.